Is retirement right around the corner for you and your spouse? If so, what are the things that you need to be considering if you're retiring in the next five years? Hi, my name is Sid Misra, and I'm a certified financial planner who is passionate about financial education. I believe that the more we understand how the financial system works, the more we can use it to our advantage. Now that goes for those just starting out in their financial journey, those who have been traveling for some time, and those who are nearing retirement. Now, if you're transitioning within the next five years into retirement, you need to be prepared, right? You need to have a plan in place. And here are some of the things that you need to consider before you get into that final phase of I am retiring right now. The first thing is how much money do I need? Now, I usually ask this is what is my number? And that basically translates to how much do I need to live the life that I want to live? What is that monthly number? What is that yearly number? What does that number look like with taxes and inflation factored into it, right? What does that number look like with healthcare costs factored into it as well? Because as we get older, we need more healthcare coverage and those costs go up. What does it cost to live the life that I want to live? And am I actually at that number? And if not, what can I do over the next five years to make myself get to that number, to be able to secure my retirement in that regard? The second thing that we want to focus on when we're five years out of retirement is how are we invested, right? We've figured out the previous uh, point, what our number is, and maybe we still need to get there. How are we invested? How are we putting our money to work in the best possible way to get us to our number? Now that has to include our time frame, you know, five, 10 years from retirement, right? It has to include our risk tolerance level. Um, and we have to be able to factor these things in because we are making an investment. We are putting our money out in the market. There is some risk there. Um, and with that risk, we are hoping that we get some sort of reward for it. But we do need to take into account our time frame, our goals, and our risk tolerance. We don't want to be too aggressive in the years before retirement. We also don't want to be too conservative because we do need to get to our number. We don't want to have the brakes on when we should be moving a little bit at a faster pace, right? So how are you invested is going to be a big question to answer when you're about five years out of retirement. Another point that I'm going to bring up here that you need to consider, and it kind of goes to the first point, is how are you going to live, right? What does that look like to you? Where are you going to be living? What's the cost of living there? What activities are you going to be doing? Do you want to be traveling? Do you want to be playing golf all day? These are things that you have to take into account, not just from a financial standpoint, but just from a living standpoint. Are you doing the things that you want to do, right? You should be retiring to something and not just away from, from working. Right, so retiring to the life that you want to live. What does that look like? What does that include? Make sure you factor that in so that you're actually able to do that. It would be a shame if you work so hard and so long and sacrifice to get to retirement when you're not able to do the things that you want to. So take stock of that right now, figure out what you actually want to do, and then let's start putting a plan in place to be intentional to achieve that. And lastly, how are you going to take care of yourself? Now, at age 65, you're going to be able to get onto Medicare and be able to use that program through the U.S. government. But what happens if you retire earlier than that? How do you bridge the gap between your employment, right, the health care benefits that you may have gotten at your old employer, and then Medicare, which starts at age 65? Those are big costs that you're going to have to adjust for. Um, when you get to Medicare as well, it's not 100% it's not free. There are surcharges that you have to pay for. There are things that Medicare doesn't cover that you're probably going to want to have available to you. Those are extra costs that need to be accounted for. And this all goes into your financial plan. Healthcare, unfortunately, as we get older, is always going to be a big cost. And so you need to be doing the homework beforehand to figure out how to incorporate that into your financial plan. So again, if you're five years out of retirement, you have some things to consider and you really need to review your current financial position. Where are you right now in relation to where you want to be? And what's the plan to get you from where you are to where you want to be? Are you able to answer the necessary questions that you need to be able to answer? Um, and what is, again, what is the plan that you're using? Now, if you don't have a plan, now is the time to make one yourself or reach out to a trusted fi financial professional. These are people that do this daily. It's their job to build a plan. And sometimes having that extra set of eyes and that outside you know, independent experience is going to put you on the right track and allow you to achieve your goals. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope it adds some value to you. 
If it did, please give it a like so YouTube pushes this to other people that may find it valuable. And also, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much and stay tuned. I got a lot more coming up. Bye-bye.